the Jewish idea that we have absolute free will is, as I think about my life and the things that I've done, as I think about my understanding of the world and my place in it, is the beginning of everything for me. The idea that, that God has given me this free will, has given me the Yetzer Tov and the Yetzer Hara, and that uh, has given me Torah in the broadest sense as the roadmap for, for uh, guiding myself between these two often contradictory uh, magnetic poles, uh, I find meaningful but also very beautiful. Uh, I, I think of the, the phrase, Im nili. if I am not for myself, then who will be? But if, I'm my only, if I am only for myself, then what am I? And the idea that comes next, and if not now, when? That I, I, I'm not going to go live in a cave and be an ascetic. I'm part of this world. I have this free will. I have this wonderful tradition to guide me. Don't be selfish. Don't only think about yourself. I must act, and I am imperfect. And that's why God gave me the gift of tshuva. You know, we're coming to the high holy days. That's why God gave me tshuva. God, you know, we both, me and God, understand that I am imperfect. Alternatively, you could ask my wife, and she would uh, help you understand that I am imperfect. Or my friends or my family. But I also have been given the opportunity to change. Again, exercising that free will. But here's the punchline. God says, you offended me? Okay. But I can't help you out in terms of your relationship with other people. I can give you some guidance. But I can't relieve you of the responsibility of what you did to or in relation to them. How to do that yourself with them. What a beautiful system. What a magnificent system. There are no parts that are missing. You give me a responsibility and you give me all the resources to deal with the responsibility. The it's perfectly balanced. And it all depends on me and what I do. And that's the gift that God and Judaism have given to me.